Now here I have third question based on the type 2 where we have to find out the unknown value r, right? So the question is here P5R, permutation of 5 objects taken r at a time equals to 2 times again permutation of 6 objects taken r minus 1 at a time then find the r. Alright, no problem. Here again I'm going to use the same, uh, same formula, right? That is NPR equals to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Every time we'll be using this formula so do not get confused. NPR you can write as a PNR also, PNR, all right? So let's go ahead. So it's going to be 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial. Similarly, 2 times 6 factorial divided by 6 minus r minus 1 factorial, all right? Let's go further. It's 5 factorial and it's 5 minus r factorial and it's 2 factorial and 6 factorial can be written as 6 times 5 factorial and this is 6 see here 6 minus r and this minus minus will make us plus all right so 6 minus r plus 1 and then factorial all right so this factorial and this 5 factorial can be cancelled and now we're going to get this 6 minus r plus 1 and now this 6 plus 1 that's going to be 7 so 7 minus r factorial is here and 2 times 6 that is 12 and this 5 minus r will go this side okay so 5 minus r and in this case if you see 7 minus r is bigger than uh, 5 minus r this number is greater so you can reduce this alright so it's going to be 7 minus r uh, times 6 minus r this is actually when you will subtract next time minus 1 so 7 minus 1 that will be 6 alright so and next time it will be 5 minus r factorial that's going to be 12 times 5 minus r factorial and the wonderful news for us is we can cancel here 5 minus r factorial and 5 minus r factorial so we'll get here 7 minus r factorial times and my dear friend again these are consecutive keep in mind 7 minus r after that the smaller number is next smaller number next smaller integer is 6 minus r right so here also we have to uh, find out the two consecutive numbers that makes uh, their multiplication 12 and that is 4 and 3 you know there is no other numbers uh, no other consecutive numbers whose product is 12 like it can be 2 times 6 but 2 and 6 are not consecutive uh, it can be 12 times 1 but 12 and 1 are not consecutive all right uh, it can be 3 4 uh, but uh, but here we are in decreasing order so we have to write 4 times 3 all right and now we can uh, just compare both sides by comparing we can say that 7 minus r equals to 4 so therefore r equals to 7 minus 4 that's 3 if you have compared 6 minus r with 3 also you will get the same result that 6 minus r equals to 3 therefore uh, 6 minus 3 equals to r that is 3 equals to r all right so anyhow r equals to 3